looking at why we are here, besides people wanting to get all dressed up for a Friday night out. We have obviously gathered for these two children of God. We have been manifested in a way as a sacrament that Cassandra and Caleb wish to embark upon together, gathered as the bride of Christ, our head and model. Though we could also say Cass and Cable, as a family calls them, but that's as far as nicknames need to go. Regardless, we have united for Cassie and Caleb, their union, to pray for them and give thanks to God. So I think there are three words that should stand out for us. Union, love, and sacrifice. In the first reading, we hear the depth and perfection of this unique bond created from the beginning. This passage isn't looking at science, since even today, we know that men and women have an equal number of ribs. But something we might overlook is that in ancient language, there was usually one word for rib and life, a connectedness from creation. For the man came the woman. In this passage, we are given a glimpse into the deeper spiritual truth. Between these two is an intimate connectedness, a radical unity and kinship, as well as plenty of attraction. It is in the sacredness of marriage that the union between woman and man is so life-giving that all other relationships become secondary. In this deeper spiritual reality, we have a better understanding of the familiar expression, my soulmate. Man and woman were created to be together complementarily, but through their souls, they are united in the sacrament of marriage on every level, physically, mentally, emotionally, and especially spiritually. Union, love, sacrifice. These three things are grounded in God, which means the love that you have shared and continue to discover will bear fruit as you find in Jesus the love and grace that he will give you in the sacrament. Cassie and Caleb, be assured that all of us gathered here, united in the same love of Jesus, are here to support and pray, given of ourselves as you offer yourselves to each other in the sacrament. You both in holy matrimony have come to this altar to be bound in fruitful and indissoluble union of sacrificial love. You have received the love of God, are promising to share that love with one another, and thus would allow it to overflow to all those around you. You have the perfect example of Jesus' sacrifice, which proves to us that choosing the good of the other before oneself will never go unrewarded. Union, love, sacrifice. Cassie and Caleb, with faith, hope, and love, grounded in God, you may now stand and prove that love through your yes to one another before God. I now present to you, Mr. and Mrs. McFarland. <laughs>